Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to join the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards and the international community, that is the International Organization for Standardization, the International Electrotechnical Commission, and the International Organization on Legal Metrology in commemorating, commemorating World Standards Day on 14th October 2016 and to pay tribute to the work of hundreds of experts in St. Lucia and worldwide who develop national, regional, and international standards. This year's theme, Standards Build Trust, is thought-provoking and provides an opportunity to raise awareness on the role that standards play in providing solutions that will meet expectations, enhance productivity and performance, and in so doing, build a relationship that instills confidence between businesses and consumers and improve the overall quality of life. The wide range of products and services provided by the Bureau of Standards are all designed to provide the parameters for building trust in our market. The trust that products are safe and perform as intended in compliance with applicable regulations and standards. Looking ahead, the 2015 to 2020 strategic plan of the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards outlines the strategic vision of the organization and at the same time provides a framework for action. The strategic plan will allow for selection of an agreement on the range of actions that are to be pursued in the coming years in pursuit of St. Lucia's development goals as well as that of the organization. The Bureau's role in playing a part in improving the quality of life of all citizens is even more relevant as we move forward with the development of our country. The National Development Plan asserts that the Bureau is central to us achieving our objective of improving the quality of life of our people. We have to address the challenges of low productivity, a lack of competitiveness, and high unemployment. To do this, the Bureau will continue to play both a transformative and developmental role. It is for this reason that the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards continues to reinvent itself to proactively assume this important responsibility. Among the four key goals which the strategic plan encompasses, there are two in particular which reflect the priorities and ambitions of the government. One of these is enhancing the developmental impact. This goal aims at having a long-term impact on the country's development agenda, impacting positively on trade facilitation, industry, and commerce, as well as increasing the national focus for standards and quality. Local businesses will be better able to meet the standards of export markets while being able to compete effectively with foreign imports in the domestic market. Another of the important goals is enhancing client value. The clients of the Bureau want information, certification, metrology services, standards, standards enforcement, protection from fraudulent measurement, and more. It is, import is it imperative, therefore, that the Bureau continues to position itself as a client-focused organization. This will ensure that the Bureau remains relevant and on the path of repositioning our country to maximize the opportunities for economic development. The theme for World Standards Day, Standards Build Trust, embodies yet again much of what is important to us as a government. And as such, standardization is reflected as a key factor to support government's policies for economic growth, public procurement, building competitiveness and innovation, reduction of trade barriers, improved fair trading, and protection of consumer interests and environmental protection. The work of the Bureau will also be supported by related interventions of the Department of Commerce, International Trade, Enterprise Development, Investment, and Consumer Affairs, and the Trade Export Promotion Agency, TIPA as we embarked on helping the economy grow a productive base and ensure increased employment. It is also important that our local stakeholders and technical experts continue to participate in and support the work of the Bureau so that St. Lucia is at the forefront of standardization in our region. With the creation of a responsive national and regional quality infrastructure, St. Lucia will be able to gain increased confidence of our trading partners, markets, and consumers of our products and services. In conclusion, I would like to reinforce that the implementation of standards will be key in ensuring greater competitiveness for St. Lucian enterprises, 
making international trade more accessible. I would like to commend the management and staff of the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards and all our technical experts on their continued efforts to strengthen the national quality infrastructure. I also urge all St. Lucians to pledge their commitment to standards and quality in every aspect of their lives and to join the rest of the world in promoting standards and a quality conscious society to ensure economic and social growth at all levels. I thank you and have a good night.